Hello, my name is Ethan. In this short video I will show you how you could benefit from Hydro Cal Fire Analysis module developed by Data AB, to perform a comprehensive fire analysis using a real-world water distribution system. Hydro Cal uses proprietary methodology that finds the available fire flow for each node automatically. User only specifies the minimum residual pressure required during fire. The designer could also specify all or part of the system to be considered for the analysis, and the program calculates the maximum flow that could be pulled out of the hydrant while the pressure stays equal to the requirement. Fire analysis with HydroCal is very easy. All you need to do is to select the nodes that you want to have their fire flow and residual pressure estimated, and let the program do the rest. Let's take a look at the entire process and see how HydroCal fire analysis work on an actual system which includes more than 4000 nodes. I have opened an example distribution system in HydroCal. As you may see the system has more than 4000 nodes. And I would like to calculate the fire flow for all node in the system that are located on water mains with diameter greater than 50 mm and less than 600 mm. Clicking this button will load the fire analysis module. First, you have to create a new scenario by giving it a name and pressing the new button. Then select all junctions. Enter the appropriate values for minimum required fire pressure, maximum fire flow, and residual pressure tolerance based on your network. Finally if you want to exclude the nodes that are located on small local water mains, or system trunks check the filters accordingly and hit the run button. Depending on the number of nodes in the system, it may take several minutes for HydroCal to estimate the fire flows. HydroCal benefits from parallel processing to speed up the calculation. Currently the model is being simulated on a laptop computer with 8 cores. As you may see, all of its nodes are being utilized by HydroCal at the same time. I let the simulation to take its natural course without eliminating any time to give you a good sense of how much time it would take to estimate the fire flows. The simulation is done. Now all you need to do is to categorize the junction layer based on fire flow. As you may see, the entire process for this system took less than 4 minutes. This allows to perform comprehensive fire flow analysis several times during the design process. You may run the system wide fire analysis before adding a new water main to the system and then redo it with the new water main in service and compare the outcomes to estimate which areas in your network benefit from the new water main, in terms of fire flow. You may find more detailed example for comprehensive analysis on our website's blog section. The link to this blog post is provided in the description section of this video. Good luck, and enjoy designing.